Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn here with our update 5 playthrough and we are going to observe the day in the life of Zotti. Zotti works in the terraforming station and Zotti does a lot of steps. A lot of steps. They start their day without even getting breakfast. And, uh, they go pick up dirt and then walk a very long way. All the way past the houses, past the trees. Past the potato crops, up the stairs, up more stairs, up even more stairs, and more stairs, till they finally come up here to put a bit of dirt down and then go all the way back down again to rinse and repeat. And then they'll do this three or four times within a day. They might stop for some food at some point, but um, that is the life of a terraformer. Carry a bag of dirt on your shoulder, backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and Oh, how exciting life must be for the terraforming beavers. I can see why they wanted bots to do these jobs to start with. But the reason Zotti is having to come all the way up here is because I have actually changed the priority on these ground here to be slightly higher than the others because I want to get this built first because we really need to get some bad water pumps in here pumping away. So we can ignite the bad water here, which um, is a little concerning. I I'm guessing this is oil like oily water or something along those lines i don't know and detonating explosives next to oil doesn't seem like a good thing however it doesn't affect the beavers at all so that's good it would be interesting if you could set fire to the water and, and by interesting i mean terrifying but uh so we're gonna do the um the edge here and then we're going to come along and we're going to put in three four five we could get a sixth one in there if we wanted to i think we might do that uh, we're going to put in at least five of them um, and then we're going to change it right up to be um it's going to come along here and it's just going to do this and maybe we do another one there and i might put some tanks up here like or a tank up here and uh just have it so that they can empty everything 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 into one tank up here and then we'll have the haulers come and Take that down so uh, speaking of holders i am building some more of those because it was suggested in the comments and it makes perfect sense um every time i have to pause the pumps we have loads of beavers doing nothing like right now we've got 11 uh which they'll have even more so i might as well get them into holders or get them into builders huts or something so we can build things faster um right now we really need terraformers that's that's what we need but um that's expensive building so mm. uh and we'll have a couple here to pump anyway so it'll be fine it'll be fine we'll get this we'll get this done get this working it'll be fine uh so with that um what else have we done we have put in some more gravity batteries i'm so glad these start fully charged it's, it's just awesome um but we put those in there we've got a little connection going on here we are building our next dirt excavator it will be it very slowly i might actually make this a low priority so that you come and build everything else first just in case i think i made these the lowest pro no it's lowest workplace so yeah, build those first uh, we have a drought coming and a drought which is nice rather than bad water that's fine uh, this is taking forever but that's because it's not actually being done it's all being done up here so there's that uh this has got extract in it which is fine everything, everything's just going it's just going and going a little bit slowly um so we'll see how it goes here um i had to destroy a, a bridge uh, a wooden stairs here because a beaver tried to build this whilst the stairs got built and it all went terribly terribly wrong so yep i had to take a step back from that so that's a bit awkward but oh well oh well um and there was also another interesting question about here uh, so we're going to have the bad water come into here and pour down now it should stay in two rows but it might not it might spread out and because there's no levees on the side of it does that mean that it's going to affect the um the water around it is it going to affect the land around it because no levees it is very interestingly um affecting this here i'm not sure it's supposed to do that um i, I guess this representing that the is soaking into this here and it's probably dripping down to here and making the land bad down there um, but it's very strange because it doesn't seem to go up a level to make the bad here and the water bad here but it is going down so maybe it works the same principle as beavers they can throw stuff down and build things from there but they can't build upwards they can't throw things up 
but they're very, very smart. They can stand on the edge here, and throw all the wood and all the logs, all bits of these down here, and it lands in exactly the right place to build the thing that's down here. So maybe it's the same principle. Maybe the water's just leaking down. I don't know. It's just odd. That little bit of broken ground down there. But it's fine. It's fine. We will leave this running and do this thing. You're going to get built at some point. You're going to get built at some point. So basically, I'm just going to um, fast forward the game again. Boom. And uh, wait for stuff to be built and land to be filled and the drought to go away. Because we need more of everything. And yeah. We just need to blow our way through here, but we need to build this thing up here first. So we're, we're at the uh, the mercy of the builders. Maybe I should put in some more builders' huts, actually. That probably would have been a better idea than putting in the haulers' posts. But uh, then we'll probably just burn through uh, planks. We'll probably burn through all the planks. That's probably the issue. So uh, let's pause. That's already paused. So that's not using any wood. Um, gears, we're using some of. Obviously, because we're going to be using up here, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we need more gear workshops. We need to get this running. So let's just let it go. Let the drought finish. And then we'll be back once the drought is over and more has built. And we can progress a little bit more with um, explodifying the mountain out of the way. Okay, the drought has ended and there has been success because I did two things. Uh, one, we turned all the pups off and two, I turned the dirt excavator off during the drought so it wouldn't drill down and get any more um, holes for the water to fill. So in a nine day drought, it didn't empty the entire lot, which is awesome. I did also shut the gate here, so we're gonna reopen that and then shut the gate here, just to separate them off in case something did go wrong, but we're all good. We're all good. Okay, let's unpause our pumps and get the water coming back in again because that's going to be important. Uh, this is complete up here. I also put in a large tank up here of bad water and it's set to supply. So it should come down and fill this one up. If we ever had any haulers to move it, um, I don't think we have. Oh, we've got some in there, but um, that's because it's actually a low priority. Um, yeah, I think it's a. Uh, little bit like we are. We haven't got many beavers spare. Uh, we've got 32 jobs empty right now, so we might get another batch of beavers going. Uh, I think the problem if I go with that though is that I need more water. I don't think this is this is correct. It may not be that I actually need more water. It may be that I need more water storage. Because these can pump pretty well and pump out I said when they're running they pump out about three an hour just over. Um and uh, if they work for like eight hours a day, which I think it kind of, they're supposed to work for 16 hours a day, but um, you definitely lose, well, for about 12 hours a day, you lose so much for them to go and get drinks and food. So, um, so 12, 24, so they get about 36 water a day. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, we've got 12 of them. So uh, 36 times 12 is 432 water. So, Pumping enough for 216 beavers. And we only have 120. So I think we're good. I think the issue comes along when we have a drought is that we're just not storing enough water. So maybe we need to look into better storage of water somewhere, somehow. I'm not sure where we do that. Um, I mean, we could always take a row out of the farms and a row out here, except for this one. Although, that is not got any planks in it at all. So, we could afford to d delete that and move it or change it or do something with it. So, it wouldn't hurt us for that one. And then put in a row of larger tanks. I kind of like that idea. I kind of like that idea. Let's, let's, let's prepare for that, shall we? Let's prepare for that. Let's just say, hey, would you stop planting there? And would you stop planting there? Although, you should stop planting full stop. Um, so, I might do that. I'm not going to delete the farms just yet. I'm going to leave the farms in there. Or I'm going to say, hey, would you stop stop planting? Uh, the reason I'm going to leave the farms in there is because um, if it ends up that the food does look like it's dropping, 
um, then we can go okay I'll um, restart replanting but we should be good because I can extend this out soon here we have a problem here however where we're not getting enough oh no the reason we're not getting enough bread is because I only have small storage of bread I didn't have a big storage of bread so that's okay we'll put a big storage of bread in as well uh, possibly like here the other side of the we might have a road go through here um, with a bit of carrots on that side we'll, 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 we'll see we'll see but we'll we'll, uh, we'll definitely do this we'll stop planting here and we'll stop planting here and then we'll update it as and when it happens why is that no, it's still water it's just low okay. and then and then what we'll do is we'll remove some of these and put in some larger ones and then yeah i think that'll be good i think that'll work um we can also re-enable um both of these why not oh there you go uh yeah we've got no beavers but we're okay food wise as well i think we're good i think we're good food wise i, I see crops always being out and about not being harvested so how about we go for another row of houses maybe not Um, like an entire row if that makes sense maybe not an entire um, lot of houses uh, if that makes sense maybe not an entire I can't remember the word I'm after uh, an entire series of houses maybe just we'll put in like a couple more I said we can support 200 and running on I'm, I'm i'm assuming this is 12 hours a day um they should be working for 16 hours a day but they have to go and get food and drink um and travel time so let's go with 12 hours a day um so yeah we've got 200 we've got enough of 216 beavers we've got 120 um so it's 60 beavers per row so we've got 10 houses but if we put another 60 on top that would only be 180 beavers so we would still have enough kind of want to just go for it I, I i think it's it's i i know i know it's i know i know this is bad let's do one side we'll do one side that's what we'll do we'll do one side we won't do the other side we'll leave it like that so yeah also we don't need to build those do I? well yes i do yes i do because if we have another staircase going up we'll have to build that so that's fine that's fine we'll do that Bom, 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 bom. There you go. That was fine. So we'll do one side, and that'll up us to two hundred and uh, sorry, to a hundred and uh, uh, fifty beavers, which is a nice round number. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, this is pumping out nicely. You are all filling this up here, so that's all good. Um, you are being for the extra. Surprising, surprising how well this is working when you consider it's it's not getting the. Uh, water it needs but well, it is now but it wasn't before so that's fine uh the explosive factory is still running even though i think we're full on explosives nope we're not yet okay this over here is built but how about we work on this um, so what we want to do is we want to take out uh the top row so double dynamite there okay and then below it we want to do triple dynamite and then below that one do more than below that one, but, but we need we need to do it all in sequence and in time and uh, not confuse things and, and get things all sorts of messed up like I have done before. It's uh, very easy, very easy to get things all sorts of messed up. Uh, so they're going to build the houses, aren't they? First, yeah. It's there actually do you know what i kind of want the houses first anyway so this is fine okay let's um let's just let it go let's just let it happen see what goes on and uh we'll come back with uh more houses because we're gonna need them so yeah so step one blow away the tip of the mountain i know we should be burning away the entire mountain because it's kind of in the way but we can maybe do that later or not bother because this is probably going to be enough industry land anyway um you don't really need that much i don't really know what we're going for in this playthrough so yeah uh but okay so 
Pop, 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 pop. And then we want to go, how tall is this? Three. This is three tall, so we want to go with three D explosives. I really like the new explosive stuff. Really, 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 really like the new explosive stuff. And then I'm going to prioritize picking up that because I always want you to pick up the stuff. Okay. So, lay the new birthday cake, please. We have candles to set fire to. Step number two explode more of the mountain. Yay. Uh, so we also want to uh, blow up a lot more of this along. Uh, I don't really know um, whether we can reach everything. Let's do this. Let's set this to be high priority because I want you to pick up stuff when we move on there. Uh, is three? Yes, this is three again. Okay, so we want to start there. Can we build? That's out of range. Okay, so we need to put in one path there. And then that would be in range. So we can do that. And that. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Okay. More birthday cakes. More birthday cakes. And step three, which consists of, I bet you'd ever guess, more explosions. I really like this mountain. It's basically the three, three, and three, and three. It's, it's, it's very nice, very nicely done. Uh, so we now want to realize I messed up. I didn't do it big enough. I didn't do it big enough. I messed up. Oh, well. Oh well, oh well. Um, do you want to unlock the what? Metal? No, no. We do not want a metal platform. Metal platform is way too big. Let's do that, and then let's go with. Um, uh, we have to run a path and stuff in here to figure this one out first. So yeah, let let's get that. Yeah, something like this. Okay, and we'll uh, we'll get more. We'll get more done. We are in a drought, um, so that's fine. I have paused all the things there, shut the gates, paused the, uh, the excavators, so everything is good. This is coming along nicely. It's taking its time. I should have just built it from this side out. It would have made so much more sense rather than this. The guys from here having to go round and do... Um, they're, they're going all over the place, basically. They're going left, right, up, down. Yeah, they're all, all over the place. So, But, um, yeah, so... Should have just built it just just from this side in. That would have made so much more sense than yeah. So, but anyway, anyway, um, let's uh, let's let this do its thing here. So we, step three didn't exactly go correct, but we'll go for step three point five. Okay, step three point five. The long explosion. Awesome. We can also at the very same time. Get rid of uh, all of that. Oh. Oof. There you go. Awesome. Uh, and now we can blow things up in the correct um, spice. <laughs> so, uh, clear up that if you'd be so kind. Uh, get rid of all of this. And would you be so kind as to put in the single explosives? Yeah. Yeah. And then. Here. Okay. Okay. And they're not going to reach all the way down to do all those. In fact, they can only reach to here, which is fine. Uh, in fact, we can make them reach even further than that by putting that bit of road. Um, and then they can reach to there, uh, which is fine. They'll do this. And then once they build blow this up here, we'll put more levees in yeah, each side. And then the paths. And then they'll be able to do the rest. And then and then we're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost almost there. Stage stage four. Is going to be in two parts so it's going to be stage four part one good let me stage four part two yay at least that's the plan that's the plan the drought was almost over as well which is awesome so we can restart our pumps and things it was a shorter drought so that's fine uh observations however um the carrot field is now empty um so we are obviously our increased population has very much uh caused the carrots to to drop um and the potato field is becoming smaller as we fill in the land which makes perfect sense <laughs> i know it makes perfect sense 
so we need to do something about this. So I'm thinking, pause the game for just a moment here. Let's unpause all the pumps before I forget to get distracted and unpause. So, because they're important, they can do things. Uh, the, the extractors aren't so much. Um, what we can do is uh, we've actually got 28 spare beavers, so we can get even more uh, hauling posts and things. But um, I'm thinking of what if we do actually put the reservoir in here, like I said before, just to try and keep a little bit. It's only going to reach down to about here somewhere, isn't it? Um, yeah, so it's a little bit. Um, but we're going to need something there to do this anyway, because it's just not going to work otherwise. It's not going to. We need water in this area too. So. Um, yeah, I think I think we should do that. So what if we went here and went, hey, would you put in levees along there and there? And then we put in two, three, four, we need five. Two, three, four, five. In levees either side like that. There you go. Put them. Okay. Um, and then we'll put a levee in here as well. So when the bad water comes down, it can't get up. In fact, we'll put, put three levees in here. Um, them. So the bad water can only pour down into this lot. It can't pour back over into that area. So, yeah. Yeah. I think that'll work quite nicely. Uh, run a path along there like that. Uh, that'll be removed when we put the stuff on top, but that's okay. Um, and I think I want that to be a lower project than this one over here. So let's lower this to be like not quite the lowest project, but a lower project. There we go. But oh, so you build that if there's nothing else to build, which is fine. But speaking of buildings, let's put in uh, a couple of builders huts, shall we? Because we can. Simply because we can. Um, so what? I'm going to put them all the way over here. One, two, three. Why not? And we're actually going to make these slightly high priority. Um, and then make them low priority workplaces. Because we've got, as I said, loads of beaver spare. So we might as well put them to good use. I could start these up as well. Um, yeah, we could do something starting the metalworks up as well, actually. Let's start the metalworks going again. And at least one of the activators. Let's restart one. Let's, do, let's just do both. Let's just do both. Go. Go, 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 go. That'll be fine. Wait for the water to come back. And then we can open the bug gates. Uh, you have got nothing to do in range. I might as well pause you for the moment. I don't want to destroy them. As I said before, I don't want to destroy them. Just in case we do need to put something back because of this um and i can obviously extend i'm saying that the uh, the potato fields are being cut off this side but i can extend the potato fields this way so we're not losing anything really we're we're um, a bit more uh but as this goes in so this is going to go in three more lines so this is going to come back one two three to here which is not a lot not a lot so adding this water here will help keep this kind of green over here um and i do intend to probably have Mm. Open those. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have a, a canal, so I think this path here is going to probably become a canal going left and right up to this point here. So there'll be a little bit in the center here that won't have any um, potatoes in it, probably. But this side should go 14 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so if we had a canal there, that'd be fine. And if we change this path into a canal as well, then we'd have this whole area will be green all the time, probably. Although this reservoir here should stay full for a very long time if we don't pump out of it. So, yeah, I think filling the water up here will definitely, yeah, I think we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We just need to change this path here. And this is not a majorly used path, so we can change this very easily. So, yeah, yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Okay, we've got a couple of explosives being placed in over there. Uh, I'm not sure why... Oh, you have built these now. Awesome. There you go. Oh, we've got some beavers to do that. We've got five spare beavers, but we will have death waves because I built all five of these in one go, so... But that's okay. That's okay. Should be fine. We'll have to restock on our metal before we start putting in any of these because these require 30, so we could just about build one, maybe. So, 
I'll let the metal restock first. And then once the metal's restocked, we will we will get going. So let's turn the wood plank off because we don't need that. Save a bit of power, save our batteries, which are still discharging. That's because our windmills are actually running. But once the windmills get running, it will recharge. Everything will be awesome. It will be fantastic. Okay. Okay. So plant the candles. We will light the candles very, very, very soon. So Project Canal part four of stage two. Part one of step four of stage two. Um, oh, oh, we nearly had explosive beavers then. Oh, go, go, go. Everyone, minimum safe distance, minimum safe distance. along there, levees along there, we do path along here and path along here, which would be awesome, uh, you can get on doing that there, and then once we've done that we will blow this up here, which is awesome, uh, remember we are just going to levy this straight along and straight off the edge of the map there, that's the idea, just going to go straight off the edge of the map, uh, so once we get to back here, um, I think once we blow this up here and we do this, I'm going to actually reconnect this temporarily, because we want to get rid of that because it's in the way. It's got a force scrap in it. I don't want to empty this here, so that won't be very difficult at all. So, so it's almost ready. The canal is almost ready. The canal is is almost almost ready to go, which is fantastic. But it's actually going to have to wait until next episode. Hmm. Keep you in a little bit of suspense. Can you guess what's going to happen when we put down the explosives? Will they blow up and make a canal, or will they explode and cause the map to catch fire? Well, you'll have to wait till next time and find out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>